serious and violent crimes, including murders and shootings, arguably some key indicators of a government's success. It's why we've asked a few Jamaicans to grade the government's handling of the crime portfolio over the past year. Zero percent. Why? Because crime escalated more. We don't rate them in a crime, so that we see it go down, it come up, because they tell them we can sleep for the door open, and we can't sleep for the, not even the key hole open. It has not been handled properly, because lately it's when people are dead, that's the time when the police come. A couple of weeks ago, somebody thought it was a great idea to try and assassinate somebody in Manor Park. Walking distance. Not a long walk either. Spokesman on security, Peter Bunting, gave the government a poor grade. And what it shows that up to September 4th, murders are up by 10% at 964 year to date. At this pace, we're going to end the year over 1,400 murders. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great, great, one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. Now, today I set out to say, yo, me I do a video upon police and the crime they might do. But to the amount of crime, we are going with police and gunmen and this and that. I ended up doing a video, this video is about just crime in Jamaica and Pretty much it turned into an indictment on the holiness government. Cause when you see the beginning of the clip, okay, and when you hear what people are say, he gets a feeling great. I just talk to a police bridging when I know a Jamaica and the man tell me say, yo, holiness, F up the place. Let's go. Disappearance of the social media influencer. The 24-year-old has not been seen or heard from since July 11 when she reportedly visited her police boyfriend's apartment at Chelsea Manor in New Kingston. What's in has fled Jamaica following the murder of a Tyler on Saturday in Red Hills in the parish. The cops at the center of the saga reportedly requested $100,000 from the deceased Philip Wallace in return for a case against him to be dropped. The police had gone to the man's shop and found uncustomed goods. However, the man reportedly gave them $15,000. The cops insisted on getting the rest of the money, but the man refused and later reported the issue. He was later shot dead. The Indent Commission of Investigations is probing the case. Police officers on patrol in a Kingston neighborhood controlled by warring gangs. Armed with heavy weaponry, without warning, they search anyone they suspect could be carrying drugs or guns. There is more fear than faith in police. There is a stigma with the persons in the community that the police are not here to help them. That's because of killings like this one. An officer shoots dead an apparently unarmed man. Over 250 people were killed last year, and each year the number is rising. No, we just watched three different clips you know, over a period about say five years, from now to five years, and five years ago. And what does that tell you about Jamaica? And the system. Now, Donnelly, a big shot policeman, we are, we are, we are music producer, everybody missing, him are the last person, and the police take over two months to arrest him. Body gone and dissolved long time, and then them create a, a false flag, make it look like the truck man do it. Now you have them police here, the next one, them will extort the man, throw him off some goods where he's not supposed to have, and the man, they give them the money, I must attack on them, and them kill him, and then one of the police run away. You see the other clip with Al Jazeera, you know Al Jazeera, I come from Qatar, big time, new me media station went to Jamaica and did a documentary showing the world how the police is, how the system is and the injustice with the police. But to be fair, like I said when they start a video here, yeah, it was about the police but it just turned into crime and an indictment on Andrew Holiness. 
administration. Let's go. The police acting on information commenced investigation into a plot to kill David Henry O.C. Kochi, a member of the gang accused of being an informer to the police of Kevran Salmon, otherwise called Siva, who was second in command of this gang. Two firearms were recovered from that incident. Constable Tafara Silvera, attached to the St. Andrew South Division, who is identified as the leader of the gang, along with Mark Burnett and Christopher Robinson, were charged with conspiracy to murder and are before the Clarendon Circuit Court, which includes at least eight members of the security force, one of whom fled the island immediately after the arrest of Constable Silvera. Now, everybody know who that is. That's uh, Bailey, and the Macabre, the Ronco Gang, and the Dutty Police Boy from down at Once Bay Police Station, Tafari Silvera. Pretty much the man them and the police go for execute a man in a Clarendon and then get catch and one of the man then rat out on the gang. I suck up the year fits Bailey say, then get information and him explain it. Say them branded and it, one of the man as a informer and execution go on and but one of the man them now them get catch when them are drive with the gun for go do certain things and then them give up information upon Silvera and the rest of the police them and then the police fits Bailey them was investigating. So I suck comes them catch them and them must say 27 people involved with that headache it's a damn headache yo it's a damn headache let's go again this evening with a breaking news from western kingston just minutes ago there was a daring gun battle between gangs from tivoli gardens and neighboring denham town now it's understood that the security forces intervened to quell tempers the police say gunmen fired at them from the May Penn Cemetery. The police recovered a firearm from the burial ground a short while ago. Now the area remains tense at this time, but as you can see, the security forces are maintaining a strong presence on Spanish Town Road in the vicinity of the Denham Town Police Station. And if you're just joining us, we have uh, an item of breaking news just coming in. Uh, there was a daring gun battle between gangs from Tivoli Gardens and a neighboring Denham Town. The security forces, they are now in the area and here you are seeing footage of the security forces trying to take control of the situation there on Spanish Town Road and other areas in Western Kingston is on location and now joins me live via telephone kirk good evening uh general okay. i'm exactly at uh, west parade in the vicinity of the tasty restaurant on uh, orange street it, it's a chaotic scene down here at the moment uh general a man was shot right in front of the tasty restaurant um we understand that the victim is from Luke, not far away from here from doing this video, there's a couple things jump out to me, yo, and it, how can I put it? It's not new, but it really shows the breakdown, because, like I said, I thought Andrew wasn't doing too bad, but Andrew, the way him answer question and deal with problems, is like him just brush it off, and he's a delegator, he needs to get down there into the community, and deal with issue not go there with a bunch of security and this and that but you have to be more straight up Andrew. listen to this and then we'll go back in another video yeah okay i saw the pictures of them they are being shipped from the production source it will take 40 days to get here a few more days to clear and a few more days to get into our garbage collection processes here now when you hear or answer a question there when I'm asking about the garbage, I saw him answer thing. In delegate and this and that, he not get straight to the point. Let's go. This shows that what they're doing is not working. It's definitely not working. The police in Jamaica, since Andrew come into power, 
has had the most money, the biggest budget, and yet still crime is out of control. So that should tell the Prime Minister, say, listen, we need to take a different approach. We need to take a different approach. Uh, there is lots of interfeud with communities. Some of those feud are, I would say most of them is a remnants of our 1980 election style and system. Uh, most of the gang them in a one era PNP or labor right and if you come from labor right side it no matter if your gang name black man gang or clansman or sparta you yeah, represent PNP and if you come from labor right side you yeah, represent labor right the system should have more things in place like my lord say shoot them down not bring them to a hospital this that to the gunman them but jamaica have been doing that for years them have secret hit squad them have all sort of thing where them uh experiment on the jamaican population them have acid crew the police boy them now them have sea talk near to them even buy a software from Israel that named Pegasus that listens in to your conversation and it shows them everything everybody you talk to all the conversation is taped and it even pin your exact location that's the Pegasus software a lot of government been getting it and some human rights and other people even the US have been complaining about Pegasus, the Israeli company make it. But it really, this video really shows what is working and what is not working and what they need to do. Like I said before, they need a better social democracy plan in Jamaica for this thing for work. The system has to operate like Finland, Switzerland, US. Canada, England, we need these things in place because, like I said, a lot of the community fuel is fueled by poverty and some people say poverty don't make you bother or whatever but in Jamaica case, in Jamaica that's the case. So the government needs to step up and go in at the community them, provide the resource and deter the youths them from gang. Most of the youths them, like them say 45-50% of boys are not going to school, they're not passing, they break down in the family, all of them things that lead to this. Let's go. Um, when they went on the ground, you know, following strong leads, they went across the dike road where it was reported that men were seen going across the dike road with weapons. Um, an approach of the team in that era, they were fired on. Um, the team took evasive action to return fire. Um, after that, one person was found suffering from gunshot wounds. Two men ran from the police further into the bushes. Uh, search of the area, they found one M16 rifle, two shotguns, one AK-47 rifle, one Taros pistol. Subsequent to that, another weapon was found, which is a 380 pistol. When we went into the area, it was obviously the HQ or a base for the criminal syndicate operating in that era. The era is under curfew um, since Wednesday and we do intend to continue um, to carry out further operational activities inside there. In the meantime, we believe that Shane Williams, O.C. Gaza Tussain, a man who goes by the name Teacher, and Aymaro Mackenzie, O.C. Munga, and Kirkwin, O.C. Big Red, are persons of interest who can assist us in this investigation. Gunmen with high-powered weapons held up and robbed a Maypen supermarket in Guinea Tree. Then get cleaned down. I said, up. Then now I get you again. Then he I get you again. They might try to up some shot, but they can't get you again. Which police night? As a police party of three tried to foil the robbery, the criminals opened fire on them, injuring two. Further assistance came, but it was difficult for the cops to repel the criminals as they took several Chinese hostage. I didn't know I would live, the injured sergeant told the star. In the meantime, the National Security Minister, Dr. Horace Chang, says a special operations team is being deployed to Clarendon. But residents... So here we go again. You hear what the Justice Minister said on the last video clip. They're going to deploy 
police in Clarendon after certain things go down here with the robbery. And they said they had a police man with Gregory Park and they are uh, guns them. So my thing is like this. If you have inter-gang feud, so you have one party and the next party, two parties and them are war. Wouldn't it be a better solution if you're sending a gang mediator or you have a team of gang mediators who can go in and talk and try and solve why these people are feuding? Wouldn't it be better? To send in a gang negotiator with the right resources and resource mean money, education, health care and stuff like those. So instead of sending in the police all the time, when I get intelligent what's going on in our community, car police work by information. So my thing is, why not send in a team of gang negotiators and gang negotiator can be police officers but what them do they negotiate with the gangs them and talk to them try and solve the problem they are having build some trust in the community the part of the problem is the Jamaican constabulary force doesn't have any trust with the people the people them not believing are the police and we know why police in Jamaica do some of the most vicious crime towards the Jamaican citizen when you had the Ranko gang earlier this year get arrested all the commissioner did he came out and said oh some police was down feeling down but we are the ones who is arresting these police and, and it, it just seems like what the fuck is this guy saying we don't have to try get back credibility with the Jamaican population so that's what the Jamaican police should be working on try and get back credibility with the population car on the last credibility over the last 30 40 50 years I mean the police in Jamaica has never had a good relationship with the citizens them so the question the police Commissioner, I, my million dollar question would be like, yo, how can we get back credibility with the Jamaican public? And if they ask those kind of questions, then they will come up with the right solution. So, let me recap. Boom. Gang them a war. Them a kill people from over one side. You hear the river thing. It, it, I mean, Jamaica come in like Ukraine. But anyways... Let's recap. Two side of war. When one dead, our innocent people in our community dead. That's when the police come in. Then you have the community inform of them. We're informed to the police. So the police get information. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then come in, hunt down the man, them, kill them. And the cycle goes on and on and on. We know say people in our community is eating and abetting these gangs. We know say the gang them are war. So why not send in a negotiating team to try and quell the violence, negotiate with these guys, bring the right resources to them and their families and people in the community and see if you get a better uh, outcome because you always have the police but they need other things now the JCF should ask themselves even the JDF, the Jamaica army should ask themselves the million dollar questions and even the politician how can we gain back the trust of the Jamaican people what steps would we need to take it's simple you know if you have a friend or you are dealing with people and some violation go on in a business. When you talk about it, negotiate it even with your mother. You teach your mother five dollar out of her purse when she not look. You talk about it, you negotiate it, see what the problem is and then we try to solve it with the right resource. Because sending in police cars, looking at these videos, like I said, there's tons of so much example. I would be sitting here doing video for the next 20 years to blow out but there are a couple fundamental questions we have to ask myself and, and, and the police them have to ask why not go into the neighborhood and try and talk to these gang members with a special gang negotiation you understand then the, the police force have to ask themselves how can we get back the credibility of the public and the public 
in Jamaica need to ask themselves the same question. How can we work with the police to get back the police them credibility? And we have to ask ourselves more questions too. Are we gonna allow our community to be overrun by a few gang members? Why not form vigilante forces to protect our community? So I'm just saying, if you keep on doing the same thing, I expect a different outcome that is defined as madness in the English language, in the dictionary, in the Spanish language. So the country has to move forward with some stronger laws, some social democracy for the people and negotiation with these community. Because I'm saying it's not even so much the gang, the negotiation with the community, you understand? And, and, and build back a relationship because that relationship has been broken for the last hundred years in Jamaica. And, and unless them do stuff like that, I don't think we're going to have a good outcome. Because those questions that I asked, I bet you people... I ask them question there too. How can I trust the police again? The police, how can we get the neighborhood to trust us? Why can't we go in and negotiate before it get bad? Why can't we bring these resources so when the police go into the community or the negotiators? Because negotiators can be police, you know, but people have to train in a conflict resolution skills. And it's not a, a thing we are going there. Yeah, man, you know, go on the table and make sure you get the money on this side. And that and no we have to try and negotiate conflict resolution you know a whole heap of them warrior it done so bad when you listen to all of the killings then and families wipe out and people take revenge God, like me say my brother did a jamaica and yo i feel like the people that would need for go missing and more and the whole heap of thing me empty my bank account me sell my blood clot house them forget rid of pussy yo but me have to take the bigger role and understand if I did something like that I would be adding to the problem I'm gonna wanna try to add to the problem but when you hear all my sound the choir and my mentality when it come to my brother's death I want people go missing they now find them body but we can't do that. I have to take the bigger approach. I want to solve the problem. I want the country to be better. So I am not going to add to it. So that's just my viewpoint on this, you know. This video was a difficult video to do. Because I am not broadcasting back the news or rebroadcasting the news. Like some vloggers do. I am actually breaking it down. Giving my opinion. Doing profiles on these kind of situation. And just see how we can solve it. Now, some of my uh, views is very uh, unorthodox, but more on the same thing. For Jamaica, like Serpy and the rest of Laga, them who are trying to get rid of crime, my TV, whoever, dub scene, being lonesome, we want to clean it up. And how we have to clean it up, we have to ask the right questions. My name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. And like me said, that video is tough, no blow up. I'm out.